Hey guys, you know what time it is for me. Of course, it's time for my Diet Coke break. And today I thought I would go ahead and show you guys what came in my, what month are we in? September. My September Ipsy bag. I got this, actually I got this last week and I am so far behind with doing things that I have not even opened it yet. Um, so I just thought we would open it together. I did look online. I got like a sneak peek, but I honestly... I think I only remember like one thing that's in the bag and I've watched so many unboxings on YouTube of other people that um, even if I knew what was in mine, I'm sure I'm completely confused by now because everybody gets different stuff. So it'll kind of be like my first my first time seeing what's in my bag. Okay, so the bag this month um, looks like this. Of course, we all get the same bag. It's just the products inside that are different. So I've seen a lot of people talk about this bag and how pretty they thought it was. A couple of people have said they didn't think it was their favorite bag. I have to say, I actually really like it. I think it's perfect for fall and um, it's a beautiful color. It actually matches my little pumpkins and my little fox back here. So it's a pretty color. It's a longer bag this time. Sometimes they're, you know, wider and taller, but this one is actually a longer bag. So I think like makeup brushes and things would fit better in here. So anyway, it looks like this here on the front. It's just a pretty like rose gold and the pattern I think is really gorgeous. It's kind of like a, I don't know, it's kind of like a wavy looking material. And then on the back side and then on the top right here, it's, it's just a smooth kind of rose gold vinyl, but it doesn't have a bad smell because sometimes bags have bad smells. Anyway, so before I open it, the theme of this month is face fashion. And it looks like this here. So the bag actually like matches her I guess this whole like kind of rose gold autumn-y theme they have going on kind of matches. So let's just look in the bag. So when you first, or when I first look in my bag, it looks like this here. Which like I said, I don't honestly remember everything that's in this bag. So let me just start pulling stuff out. So the first thing I have something is, is something here from Trust Fund Beauty. And this says that it is, actually it doesn't say. Is this maybe a nail polish? I don't remember. Okay, so I did get a nail polish, and the color is Elegantly Wasted, and it's just like this really pretty kind of dusty lavender. I wouldn't call this a true purple, but um, it has sort of a, to me, it's got sort of a grayish tint to it, so kind of a dusty lavender, I guess is what I would call it. Um, I'm not a huge lavender or a purple fan, uh, period. But, I don't know, this might be cute, like for pedicures or something like that, but I probably will end up passing this on. But, this is a really nice size, and I'm sure that it's a really great nail polish. So, that's the first thing that came in my bag. And the second thing is from City Color, which I don't know if I've ever tried anything from City Color. Um, I don't think that it's a high-end brand. Um, but, I now that I'm thinking of it, I can't even remember where I've heard people talk about they get it from. But... The brand is City Color, and this is a mascara. This is the Be Bold 3 times Volume and Length Mascara. So it looks like this here. Um, I love trying new mascaras, and I definitely like things that give me volume and length at the same time. So I'm really excited to try that out. And this is in the color just black. And I don't think it's waterproof, which is good because me and waterproof mascara are really not very good friends. So the next thing I have here is something from NYX. And I think that we all got this in our bag this time. This is the um, little eyeshadow palette from NYX that was made or created, I guess, just for Ipsy because it looks like this on the front. It says Ipsy NYX. And it is, um, it's got the three shadows. It doesn't say they have individual names or anything. So, anyway, I'm not going to open these or swatch them because I have so many open right now that I'm trying to go ahead and get through. I may actually end up using this for um, in a giveaway that I really want to do really soon. So I might use this in a giveaway or just pass this on to someone, but still it's a great value and the colors are really pretty for this time of year. That's the third thing. The fourth thing I have is, this is from J Cats Beauty and it says the hash is hashtag MOTD, makeup of the day, which I post by the way on Instagram every single day, usually except for the weekend. I post my makeup of the day while I'm wearing my face every day. So shameless plug, if you want to follow me on Instagram to see my hashtag MOTD, then I will click that or I'll click it. I'll link that down below if you're interested. But this is the waterproof slide on pencil for eyes. I don't like, um, or I don't wear eyeliner. So I don't know why 
seems like Ipsy keeps sending me things that I've put on my little survey that I don't like I tell them I don't wear nail polish I don't wear eyeliner but it seems like I keep getting the things that I say I don't want to wear in every other bag at least so I think I need to go back and retake that and see what's going on but so the color of this is just called bronze and it looks like this here actually I might get some use out of this I don't know though because it says it's waterproof and like I said, me and waterproof makeup just don't mix too well, but this color, actually the whole tip of it just broke off, so yeah, I tried to swatch it for you guys, and I did it kind of lightly, which I'm honestly not even a fan of that color. To me, that is just like brown, doesn't even look bronze, and so I didn't even press down hard to do that swatch, and like the little, the tip completely just fell off. And now it looks like this on the inside. Uh, and it's not a twist up or anything. I guess it's one that you have to sharpen. So I'm pretty disappointed in that. I probably will email Ipsy about this and just see. I mean, granted, even if I wasn't going to use it, I mean, it still was a product in my bag that broke. So I would still like to get a replacement. And I can use that as part of my giveaway or at least pass it on to somebody else. But... Anyway, I'll contact them and see what they say. But anyway, so that's the color that it would have been right there, which like I said, I don't think it looks very bronzy. I think it just looks brown, which I'm not a fan of. So that's kind of disappointing. The last thing I have is a hand and body lotion. This is the Not So Radio brand, and this is the Coconut Milk Mango Plus Vanilla. So that's what this looks like, just a small little sample. I've gotten a few things from Not Soap Radio before. A couple of them I've really liked, and then I've had a couple that I have thought just smelled terrible, but this one smells really good. It smells like sunscreen and coconut and summer. Mm. So going into fall, I would say this is not really a fall time scent. So I may save this for next summer when it's time to be doing sunscreen and all that kind of stuff again. So that's everything that came in my Ipsy bag for September. Not one of my favorite bags, I'll have to say, even though the size of all the products was really good. So I'm sure it was a great value. I do really like the bag a lot. I will use this bag. I will use this lotion also whenever um, summer rolls back around because it smells really good and just tropical and summery. This eye pencil that broke off, and there's nothing else I can do about that. I'm super disappointed with this, but, um, you know, it's just, again, it's just personal preference. I just don't wear eyeliner, but I am disappointed that it broke so easily and that it's virtually of no use, so i got to figure out how to get that fixed. Um, the next thing, I really am excited about this mascara. I will definitely use this. Then we had the Trust Fund Beauty nail polish, which I probably will not use, but I'll pass it on to someone else. So then we had the collaboration of Ips, from Ipsy and NYX of the three eyeshadows that they had. So this is a full size. This is really cute, um, cute packaging. The colors are really actually pretty for this time of year. So that's a good thing that I got. So that's everything I got. If we're bag twins, let me know below. Let me know what you thought if you got these things in your bag. And let me know if your, um, if your eyeliner broke like that or if maybe it's just mine. I'm not sure. Anyway, that is it. I hope you guys have a super terrific afternoon. If you're interested in Ipsy, it is $10 per month. I'll put a link below. Just click it. It'll take you where you need to go. And I would love to hear your thoughts so leave it below i love talking to you guys have a really great afternoon and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye